Alma, Sophia, Esperanza, Hosea, Pura, Candela had a long name. Too long, if you asked her. And so begins Alma and how she got her name. Hi, I'm Rebecca. I'm a teacher in Canberra, Australia. And today I'm going to talk about Alma and how she got her name. This book is beautiful. It is about Alma and her relationship with her father and the story of Alma's name. Now Alma is a young girl who lives in America and who feels her name is too long and she wants a simple name so that she can just go and write it really easily. It's something that fits easily on the page. So she goes to her father and asks him, why is my name so long? I really, really don't like it. And so her father sits her down and tells her where her name comes from, all the relatives and the reasons why they chose it. It is a beautiful book and I highly encourage you to go and get it. I don't want to spoil it, but the illustrations are gorgeous and you can see with each one the history, sorry, um, of each part of her name. The relationship with her dad is beautiful. Um, just gorgeous illustrations so I encourage you to go and get it um, and these ones the books I'm going to do that I'm going to review today are actually from my school library thanks for watching